Hello, my name is Greg West, and I am here to speak with you about registering for AP exams with George Washington High School for this year, the 2020-2021 session. Um, first, I want to say that this uh, movie is based largely off the AP registration FAQ that I put out. Uh, but I noticed that some people are having difficulty with it, and so I wanted to try and explain it. So the first thing you need to know if you are going to register for exams with George Washington High School as a student, there are two steps. First, you must join the classroom with your AP class. Your teacher should give you a join code. You log in to the URL on the screen there, myapcollegeboard.org slash login. And you should be able to join with the join code provided to you by your instructor. If you are someone who wishes to take an AP exam and you are not in a class, you need to send an email to me, Mr. West, at the link provided. And I can let you know whether or not that'll be possible. If you are not sure how to get to the College Board website, you can get to it through the George Washington High School AP website. Unfortunately, it's a little bit tricky to get there right now, but the first thing you should do is go to the SFUSD George Washington website, then go to the Academics and Guidance page, and then go to the Advanced Placement link. Once you go to the Advanced Placement link, It'll take you to the advanced placement page. And the only thing on the advanced placement page is a button that tells you to click it so that you can register. Once you have clicked that button, it will take you to the two-step process for registration. And it's got a link to the college board beneath. Once you've completed that, as you'll notice, step two is total registration. And then you would go through that registration process as well. All right, so step two, total registration. Total registration is a third party vendor that we use so that uh, it is easier for you to pay and register for your exams. Um, you know, during COVID, it's especially difficult to pay for your exams because you don't, you're, we're not at school, you'd have to mail it in, et cetera. This is easier because you can pay with a credit card and you can be refunded with a credit card should you decide not to take the exam. Uh, if you registered for exams last year, there's a space down here that says log in here. Please click that link and log in using your uh, login and password from last year and you are ready to go already. All right. If you are registering for the first time, I very highly recommend that you use your San Francisco Unified School District email and that you use the password for that email account uh, because it is so easy to forget both the password and email. I mean, yeah, that you used to log into total registration. And once again, there's a link down at the bottom of this page. Okay, so um, you will pay for your exams through total registration. You'll use a credit card or you can mail a check to total registration. Uh, after you have registered, you'll be asked to pay. The only difference is for those of you who say you qualify for a fee waiver. If you do, I need to approve it before you can move on to payment. I approve it if one of two things have happened. Uh, you are either on the free and reduced lunch list or you have completed the federal 2021 income eligibility guidelines. I'll talk more about that in a second. So I wanna stress that it's very important that you complete the full registration form. If you believe that you're going to select yes for the free and reduced lunch list or income eligibility, opt to select yes rather than no and try and change it later. It is better that you do it that way.
one thing that is important is I need everybody to register as soon as possible, but you do not need to pay right away. You do need to pay by November 13th because afterwards there will be a $40 late fee that is uh, mandatory by the college board. I am not charging that late fee that the college board is. Finally, should you cancel because you paid with a check to total registration or with your credit card, total registration will issue your um, refund. I, I will need to approve it, but they will issue it. Okay, so there's a few things that I need to discuss regarding fee waivers. A fee waiver essentially takes each $95 exam and makes it $5 each exam. If you have a, if you are on the free and reduced lunch form, uh, or you have recently received uh, proof uh, sent to you by Student Nutrition Services that you are on free and reduced lunch, uh, you qualify automatically. Otherwise, you need to complete the um, federal income eligibility guideline form. If you are not sure if you qualify, on page two of a fee waiver packet that is located on the GWHS AP webpage on uh, step two, you'll see that there are these three packets. One's Chinese, one's Spanish, one is English. I do not need you to fill this out. But if you were to click it on page two, you would see a chart that shows the various income for those who qualify. Now, if you find that you qualify, then you would once again fill out this form. I receive notification of those that complete the form. So when I see that you qualify, I go into my free and reduced lunch uh, wait list and I check you off and then you will receive an email and you will be ready to pay. So once again, I cannot approve a fee waiver until after you've completed total registration. Okay, beyond payments, beyond registration, there is also the issue of accommodations. Accommodations are generally for students with IEPs or 504 plans. If you do not know whether you have either of these, the chances are very good you do not. But if you do have a IEP or 504, you need to ensure that you speak with your case manager and counselors because accommodations can only be approved through the college board. I cannot approve them. So in other words, should you not apply in time, and it can be something of a lengthy process of several weeks before the, the college board uh, accepts accommodations, then you will not have accommodations for your exam. So it is critical that you guys make sure you speak with your counselors. The next is tutoring. There are those students who uh, do not qualify for a fee waiver, but don't you know, have the money to pay for all those AP exams. They are very expensive, $95 each. So uh, we have so some ability to pay for students' exams. And we ask that the students tutor for nine hours. Uh, if you send me an email and tell me what you are qualified to, uh, to I will do my best to uh, arrange for tutoring for you for one or two exams. And I will pay for the, your one or two exams in advance, and then you can pay for the remainder or you are good to go. If you have any additional questions about this, uh, please send me an email. Finally, uh, I have created tutorials for uh, several of these steps. So uh, you, you're not exactly sure how to get to those portals. Click the, uh, the YouTube uh, link there. Also, there's a step-by-step -step, uh, registration for total registration. I, I model using a, a dummy information. And then finally, I do the same thing with uh, federal eligibility 
uh, form for the fee waivers. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you find this helpful.